Or does it say you're not allowed to? Remember when we were or in there, to. they told us we had to we had to take our um, put our phones away. So Gustavo, what town are we in? We're in San Luis, Mexico. San Luis, Mexico. Yeah. The state of Sonora. What done? Stem cells. Stem cells in her hip. So she's got she's going to have bone marrow removed from her spine. Stem cells removed from the bone marrow. And stem cells removed <laughs> from the bone marrow. Put to the hip. And put into the hip. All through New Hope which tried true and tested wonderful people wonderful facility that's a cool little play area oh in here uh -huh. yeah well, we saw that last time and we thought mm -hmm. it was cute medical over here. Mm -hmm. Labs, a lot of dentistry. Is that the big thing, dentistry? Which one? Down here? Out here or no? Oh, yes, yes. Or is it primarily a lot of just everything medical down here? It's everything. Uh -huh. uh, dental is also a big, big yeah. part of the business. Pharmacy. And what does New Hope have to offer? We hope we're the only ones doing the alternative cancer treatments in the region. Yes. Yeah. So, if you want to get an alternative treatment. Versus chemo and chemicals, you come down here to New Hope. And they try to, they try to fix your immune system so your, your body can fight it off itself. Yeah. Okay, so this is the room that we're going to be in. And if you were to come down for any kind of alternative treatments for cancer, not chemo, but alternative, natural, this is just an example of one of the rooms. And the people here are just so nice. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a picture of you? This is just for the record. Yeah, for drinking more, more water, okay? Do you drink it? They just can't be patient, can they? Yeah. They have to, Gosh, they have that's, to that's so, speed behind so you. I just, people drive what, me nuts. People drive crazy here. That's a doctor. Here, everywhere yeah. you go, they're yeah. like that. Everybody's in a hurry. Truck. I don't want him. He doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe he's late for surgery. Oh. <laughs> maybe he just needs to go to the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we never know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> yeah, we're really yeah. didn't go very far. <laughs> we walked further to the grocery store. 
So does burritos, agua tortas. Yeah, I mean, literally right nachos. There. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. We can, we can easily just walk. Yeah, Luis and Fernanda. So we are in a hospital room, an actual hospital room, not New Hope. I have to say, really impressed with everything I see down here. Okay. Thanks. At least they provide more storage and stuff if you're here for a period of time. Just got radiology and x-ray, making sure everything's okay. One. And then now we're heading back to New Hope. My stem cells are ready, they'll stuff them in my hip. Smart final. Huh? Mm. That's cute. We love that store. So we got back to the room and they had two squeezed juices for us. I can taste celery. I don't know what else is in there. What else is in that? Celery and what? Do you know? And which one? This? Yeah, huh? Pomegranate. I, I, I never I've never tried them to be honest. Really? I tried really? only I tried only one and it's the, the blueberries. That's the uh, only one I tried. And this and the rest of them. It's like pomegranate and celery or I don't I know. So. Beet. I like beet. So upstairs are the rooms, and then if you walk down this hallway, is where the dining room's at. They use everything organic and healthy. The kitchen's in there, and then strawberry water. And what do we have today? Gee, oh my goodness. And salad. 
So it's eating healthy. What kind of soup is that? Uh, it's squash, ah. Himalayan sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, and our strawberry water. He'll get it. I left. I left him a map of stars. He can get it. some local anesthesia first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sweet. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, they hurt me all morning. Come on. Oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> Don't say He's a boss at this. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a while. <laughs> shh. <laughs> it's so funny because I can tell, like, you take this big. Uh, uh huh. It didn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> When he gave me a cortisone shot, he hit my bone, and that one, that hurt. It was so funny, he just barely touched it, but it like sent like shock waves through. It was just the weirdest feeling. He just barely, t you could see him, he just barely tapped it. Yeah. It just was like, Ooh. Okay, so this is the stem cell, this one. They're clear. Ten, ten milliliters, okay. okay. We cannot put more than this because it would be a lot of liquid, a lot of volume. Too much, ins yeah, okay. too much volume inside the joint that, that will make a lot of pressure inside. Okay. Cool. So the other the other stem cells, he's gonna put an IV. Oh, that's okay. great. This hurts? Yes. Pressure. You feel the pressure inside? Yeah. Okay, we're done. We need to do this with a bigger uh, yeah. syringe, uh, so we we know we are inside the joint. Gotcha. Okay. That's why we. Yeah. You feel that pain inside. Okay. Yeah, I go to a naturopath and mm -hmm. he's, no, he's put shots in there, and, and I was like, and he's like, 
And I was like, you don't need an ultrasound? He goes, if you need an ultrasound, you need to go back to school. I'm going to clean a little bit this. Yeah, and okay. you, you might feel painful your hip by tomorrow because of the pressure of the volume. Okay, okay. so don't 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 worry about don't it. Worry about it. Okay. You're gonna feel pressure. You're gonna okay. feel pain. Okay. okay. Any limitations or just? Try, try to avoid the, the stairs. Okay. Do you, do you, in your house, do you have stairs? No. Okay. Tell them about racquetball. Yeah, yeah racquetball? really. Tell, tell yeah. them. You play I have a racquetball, racquetball tournament oh. Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. no? This Saturday? Yeah. Tell her no. Oh. Well, you <laughs> tell I, me. I, I, I believe it won't be a good thing to do. Okay. Because it's very, it's just two days from. Okay, I will do that. I'll just go watch. That's the thing. What's the word? Yeah, just cheerleading to your cheerleading only. Mm -hmm. okay. To your friends. <laughs> that mm -hmm. I can do. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave this for today, mm -hmm. and tomorrow you can take it off. Okay. And you don't need to put any any other yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put another one right here when we did, where we got this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. So. Uh, so we're injecting baby stem cells. This is baby cells. I know. They're baby cells. Baby Technically, cells. they're yeah. considered baby cells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not from an umbilical cord. No, well, no, but they're stored in your spine, yeah. in your hip. Oh, did you ask the doctor? So we're going downstairs. Okay. It's a beautiful little sitting area. They do talks and lectures in here. So the treatment went well and Gustavo has taken us back to the hotel in Yuma. So going back across, we bypassed that entire lane of traffic, which is super long. And we're just gonna come up here and skip now. through here. And now I gotta put my camera away. I like if I, I, I was doing a video for Susie and what we were going through with her but if you were like somebody that was going to tell somebody about new hope and what susie's husband mark did down there what how do you mind telling on the camera what you would do what it is and what they do down there what do we do in new hope yeah yep. new hope, uh, as i see it it's a combination of the best of, of both worlds you know the alternative world and the alternative treatment and the traditional medicine Combine both both treatment and the best part of both of them for a greater result. Uh, a lot of people or, or most of the doctors tend to stay in only one place. If, if it's a traditional doctor, they only want to use traditional medicine, chemo, traditional, radiation, exactly, mm -hmm. and they don't really want to explore the the alternative uh, ways. As the, the alternative doctors only stays in the alternative and doesn't want to use uh, like opioids and, and stronger painkillers. So we combine the both of the best world to, to get the, the best results. Uh, you know, we, we use uh, Western medicine and we use the alternative medicine also. Uh, it's, it's a program that helps the patient to build up their immune system. Uh, to make the body fight the cancer by itself. We're, we also attack the cancer in, in our ways, but the main goal is to build up the patient immune system to make them stronger and be able to, to, to attack.
contact with all disease. So that's that's the program as I see it and as it is. And so if somebody comes down and they have treatment, what are the treatments that we're doing? They're coming down for two weeks? For two weeks, two yeah. weeks. Mm -hmm. There uh, there's like three three or four different kinds of treatments that we do. And those are the big the main ones. The big views of, of the treatment. That is uh, detoxing the body. In the detox part of the program comes the coffee enemas, the 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 food bath. Those are the detox part of, of the program. Then it comes to the immunology, immunology part of the treatment. That is the the dendritic cells, the the stem cells, uh, all all of that. Mm -hmm. We also attack the cancer with uh, directly. For example, with the B17, that's the like the natural chemo. To to put it in a way, it's not a chemo, but like, like, yeah, to to explain it that way, it's easier. To what is it? It's B17. It's it's Leotril. It's from the pit of the apricot seeds. Okay. I take so it it's, every it's, day. It's, it's a molecule form. that has been proven to attack cancer. Uh, it's very effective. You have to be really careful with it. If you overdose a patient with a B17, it's gonna show some symptoms of, uh, like very similar to cyanide poisoning. Uh huh. So you have to be careful with it. Dr. Yeah, Brandon but... and Lewis came up with a, it's a very long uh, research that they have been doing. And Isn't it, it produces, when it gets in contact with a cancer cell, it creates a, a, a Chiodin or chiodin, which is actually cyanide. It yeah, actually, very similar to cyanide. It actually, molecular it, like, it actually puffs it with like, it just kills it. Yes. Yeah. But I guess too much would make your body a little toxic too if you have too much going on. And what does the hyperbaric chamber do? And then we have the the oxygen therapies uh -huh. that includes the the IV ozones, the rectal ozones, and the hyperbaric chamber ozones. Uh, we attack the cancer, we, you can say that we attack cancer with, with oxygen also. Oxygen uh, oxidize every cell in the body. The healthy cells are more uh, resistant to oxidize, oxidization. Sorry, it's a, yeah, a tricky word. <laughs> um, so they can tolerate more oxygen than cancer cells. Cancer cells are very susceptible to, to oxidation. So we put them through a through a stress by by oxygen. Mm -hmm. So that's the hyperbaric chamber, the the IV ozone and the rectal ozone. Ozone is basically concentrated oxygen. Uh, a molecule of oxygen is uh, O2. The the molecular uh, formula and ozone is O3. There's one more uh, atom of oxygen. The dendritics is the one that's where they take the blood out, clean it, put it back in. Yeah, the dendritic cells are, uh, they take like a pint of blood. Uh, they separate the, the T cells that are like known as the killer cells of the, of the immune system and reproduce them. Not with hormones, we don't use uh, growing hormones, we use factors. It's a little bit different. Uh, they work basically the same way, but without the, the side effect of the hormones. So it's kind of like the same stem cell therapy, but you also do the dendritic therapy. Yes, yes, in a way they're very similar, but a little bit different at the end. And explain the CAT system or what you can about it. The CAT system, I'll give you a general view. Just general. It, it's, it's very I know, it's, propri it's proprietary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when they take the... the the pint of blood that I just mentioned yes. to, to reproduce the, the, the tritic cells, they keep very small, small percentages of the, of the T cells. So they keep reproducing and reproducing and making a lot more and they put it in small vials so you can take it home and, and inject them uh, for a long period of time. 
So that, you'll have a, a continued a continued uh, exposure to of, of T cells, dendritic cells being put through your bloodstream mm -hmm. on a that's, regular basis. That's that's the the big view. Obviously, it's a, there's a lot of uh, biomedical involved sure. and a lot of hard words to pronounce. Yeah, yeah we, we <laughs> but, simplified it. Yeah, that's that's simplified. Just we're just from, talking from about what I said, yeah. you cannot reproduce the treatment that we do. Obviously, the the the, the laboratory uh -huh. part, it's a very complicated process. Uh, Dr. Brannon and Lewis has been developing this, this treatment for years. So you need the technology and, and, the, and the ways to do it. It's not very, it sounds easy because I tried to explain it that way. Obviously, it's Very way more complicated. Yeah. Well, thank you for explaining all that. You're very welcome. I try my best while driving. <laughs> yeah, while driving. Without getting confused.